Use transformations of f of x equals x squared to graph the following function. So the function we have to graph is g of x equals x squared plus 5. So whenever you add a number to the actual y value of the function, you go up 5. So this is the graph of x squared shifted up 5. So if we were doing it by hand, we would just, we would just take this graph here. This is x squared. I'll call it y. And that's not this one, that's not g, that's f of x, or y equals x squared. And so what you do is you take the whole graph and you go up by 5. So I'll draw it down here. So you just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you put a dot, and then you just draw your u and that's it. So this would be the graph of g of x. So that's the answer. So we just have to type it into the software. So I'm going to click this, it says click to enlarge graph. It says click the graph, choose a tool in the palette, and follow the instructions to create your graph. Okay. So I think it's going to be this u here, because we know it's a u, right? x squared looks like a u. It says, click the graph to plot your curve. So I know it's going to, starts at 0 and it goes up 5, so we can go up to 5. Notice up here in the top right, it tells you what point you're at. Right, right now it says 10, 10, because my little dot is over here at 10, 10. We want to be at 0, 5, because it goes up 5. Click that. And then it says, vertical stretching or shrinking, horizontal stretching or shrinking. We're not doing any of that, right? And so we're going up 5, right? So it looks like we have a vertical shift, right? Because vertical is up and down. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to put 5. Okay, then I'm going to click, I guess, I'm gonna cl I'll close it now. Let's try that. So I closed it. It didn't work, okay. Click Save. Oh, it did work. Okay, so it did work. That was pretty weird. And that's it. We click Check Answer, and that's it. Let me try it again just to make sure it works. So Clear. Okay, so you click this. You go up five, and then just change it to whatever you want, so five. That's it. Now, last time I clicked the little X after I did that. This time I'm going to try hitting save, see what happens. Same thing. Okay, same thing. Maybe hitting save is a better option. And click check answer, and that's it. I hope that made sense.